Okay, it looks as if most people who are joining this session are with us and we will begin because we want to make the best use of the time available. Good morning and welcome to this global leader session with Risto Silasmar, who is chair of the board of directors and interim CEO at the Nokia Corporation. Risto, first of all, please do come and join me on the stage. Thank you so much for being with us and a very... Warm welcome. Um, just also to introduce myself, my name is Jackie Davis. I'll be moderating this session and I have only one aim, which is to make sh this a very lively and a very interactive session that covers as much ground as possible. I'm going to, uh, we're not going to have any speeches in this session. Uh, it's a sort of fireside chat but obviously without the fire. Uh, and how it's going to work is I'm going to ask uh, Aristo a few questions just to get the discussion going. Then I will come among you all with the microphone. You can ask questions in the traditional way, i.e. by raising your hand, and I will come to you, uh, or you can use Twitter. And indeed, if you're watching via live web streaming, please also do send us your comments and questions. Just a reminder of the hashtag, hashtag EUIC2014. So as I say, the aim of this session is to have a conversation and try and draw out some lessons from one of Europe's leading telecommunications companies about why constant innovation, which has been the hallmark of Nokia throughout its 150-year history, why that is so important for the success of European companies like Nokia and for the European economy as a whole. What are the key drivers for innovation? How do you best foster that spirit of innovation, entrepreneurship. How do you create, uh, Matthias Reuter, the Dutch Prime Minister, just talked about um, freedom being the lifeblood of innovation. How do you create that freedom? How do you create that space for innovation? What are the key challenges and opportunities relating to innovation in the economy as a whole, but very specifically as well uh, in the communication sectors? And crucially, how can policymakers provide the best possible environment, the best possible framework conditions in order to allow that innovation uh, to happen and allow companies like Nokia to meet the challenges and make the most of the opportunities. There can be no one better than Risto Silasma to talk to us about this. Uh, he is himself an entrepreneur. Uh, he's the man behind a very successful digital protection company uh, set up uh, in 1988. So he's been in this game a long time and from very early on. So he's been a startup. Uh, he is also a business angel who has invested in some 40 technology startups. Uh, he's set up a venture capital company as well.